Welcome to the list. The show where we pluck out a name out of the famous list from the Geeks List and Joyce the Podcast. Watch it, review it for your viewing pleasure. I am your lonely host, Edder Prez. I'm deciding to drop a solo one. Um, I don't think Felix give a fuck about baseball. Um, today I watched 42. Synopsis reads, in 1947, Jackie Robinson becomes the first African-American to play in Major League Baseball in the modern era when he has when he was signed by the Brooklyn Dodgers and faces considerable racism in the process. I don't I don't know why this slipped through the cracks. I don't know why I do. I did not watch this. I remember the commercials for it. There were I could be making this up. Like the trailers were, it was all on Disney Channel or something. It was giving me kind of like a cheapy vibes. And granted, you know, my king, Chadwick Boseman, Boseman wasn't Chad Chadwick Boseman back in 2013 when this came out. So I didn't have that, you know, affinity for him. I wasn't bowing down yet, uh, but I'd never heard anything bad about this movie. It's it's obviously a period piece. I know who Jackie Robinson is. I know all this stuff. Um, and me being a Padre fan doesn't affect me in the slightest. B L A B L A B L A. Um, I'm not a hardcore Padre fan. I, I, I'm more of a poser. I like to go to the games and and kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Have you seen this big motherfucker, Avila Aguayo? What's his fucking name? Pinchy Mexican Thor hitting homers, dog. He's dope. Hopefully he makes the squad. I don't even know if he's on the squad or not. Um, but yeah, back to the movie. Um, fuck the Dodgers, they're cheaters. The 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 Jackie Robinson movie I knew had a lot to do with racism and because obviously he's the first African American to play in the major leagues. I was also a little shook as to the the cast. I don't I didn't remember Harrison Ford being in there christopher maloney is great everybody's great in this movie alan tudyk did a great job acting because i i really wanted to hurt him he was foul as you will will expect someone to be in a period piece about racism but what is a little weird about the movie so basically um Harrison Ford's character, Mr. Rick, Mr. Ricky, the owner of the then Brooklyn Dodgers, decides to bring a, an African-American athlete from the Negro League over to the American League, over to the Major League Baseball. Uh, back then, yes, there was two separate leagues. There was the Major League Baseball and then there was a whole Negro League. So he was paying attention to uh, who to pick out. And then uh, Jackie Robinson's name was 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 in the mix and he picked him because he knew he could handle the pressure of doing that and knowing going in he knew that jackie was very abrasive and very uh stood up for himself which is what he needed for this mission that harrison ford's character was trying to do but he wasn't doing it for morale reasons or anything he was obviously trying to do it for money which is a little weird but the way he brought him into and the way he like coached him through the whole thing wasn't done in a bad way at all you know he 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 defended he stood up for him he stood by him by his side the whole time threatening coaches threatening opposing managers it, but it's just weird that it didn't come from a place of like oh we need to have more black guys in the league but it was more about dollar signs and, and be more make the game more exciting so that was a little weird you know but yeah, this movie, breaking news, racism is terrible, you know? It's crazy how back then black people were looked as something else other than human. They had separate bathrooms, like it was in the middle of the 1940s. So you see all the colors of racism <laughs> in this movie and, and, and it's 100% enraging for sure. Um, but Jackie was always like a renegade. He stood up and wasn't like a poster boy kind of sounds negative but like i said he always stood up for what he believed in obviously and he was always mistreated and he, he always stood up um so he made his debut to the dodgers you see the journey from 
Spring training, there's some bullshit racism there. Um, all the way up to his debut in 1947. I didn't know that Jackie Robinson was from California. Uh, that that kind of shook me a little bit. I, I, didn't, I didn't know why I didn't think from that he was from California. Um, so that's cool. Repping for Cali. Hell yeah. Um, so some some of the race well the racist some of the racist things that were occurring in the movie i found this to be really funny even though it's not because it's about racism but when he took the field even people who root for the team their team because he started in the triple a and all that in the minor league uh with the montreal something but it, it's the it's like the it's like the minor league team of the brooklyn dodgers back then when he took the field people who were rooting for montreal we're booing him, and I just find that to be funny because it's just stupid. I can't see myself booing someone on my team, right? Unless he's like done or said something that I don't agree with or like disrespect the fan base, right? I just can't boo. You're black, boo. It's just it's just funny to me the second he ran out to the thing, and it's not meant to be funny. It was just wild that they're booing their own guy from their own team, but they didn't care. He black, I got a boo. It's just so ridiculous now. But the only reason you boo someone from your own team is like if you disrespect the fan base or he talks shit about the team, you're like boo and then he gets traded or something. But you never boo unless there's or they're sucking, right? Like Westbrook right now in the basketball, you suck ass. I'm pretty sure Laker fans are booing him when he's on the free throw line because get your shit together. Come on. Um, I just I, that that tickled me for some reason. But uh, I don't know if Chadwick won anything. For this movie because he wins for everything and he deserves it every time because he goes balls deep every single time and every performance and he gives everything and that's why he the best of all time i didn't find any awards the movie made money there's an estimated 40 million dollar budget and it grossed only in the united states and canada 95 so it's an easy double up uh it is it is a a good movie uh a good period piece um but as far as chadwick's performance when he was running, he kind of looked like what Jackie looked like as far as what I've seen of those old black and white highlights. Uh, but what actually really um, impressed me was the stance. So in baseball, a big deal of how you emulate your favorite players is by the, the batting stance, right? So yeah, I think I have a bat here. It's for the rateros, fool, because I live in the fucking ghetto. Oh shit, this is my childhood bat. This is my weapon if someone was trying to break in that. So, like, I like to do the Griffey. Like, a big deal is the is the stance, right? And back then, they'd like, be lazy or do, like, a half swing. So, they didn't have the, 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 the technique that we have today. But Chaz, Chadwick had, because uh, Jackie has, like, this weird, like, I want to say lazy grip where he's holding the bat backward, like, back here, right? Like, very, very upright. Everything is pinned like backwards like this and everything just comes from here. There's like no wind up or anything. And he was emulating that pretty, pretty great. Um, the stuns. Oh, shit. The bat's cracked, yo. This is my childhood bat, yo. Oh, you're trying to fuck with Louisville Slugger. Hell yeah. For the ratero, bro. But of course, Chadwick nailed that. It looks he from far away. His movements kind of re remind you of Jackie when that's the whole point. <clears throat> but as far as more of the the crazy racist things that he was going through, it's just once you see like the first couple, you're like, OK, it can't get worse than that. And then it just kept getting worse and worse. He received death threats, which, OK, whatever. Right. Is a big deal. But he received thousands upon thousands of death threats just for one specific game this one got crazy uh cops i think it was in pittsburgh came on to the field to try to get him out of the game that one was pretty well i mean protests from his teammates that didn't want to play with him we're talking about the 1940s and i mean they still had segregated bathrooms which is wild um, he also had a writer who was documenting everything along with him. And I don't know how that came about. I, I, I think that was, might've been the owner, Mr. Ricky or something. I, I'm not, 
100, I don't remember 100% sure why he had a writer for it, or, but the writer was also banking on Jackie's success um, because he was he was dealing with a lot of racism too. Like usually you have a press box still to this day where they where the press sits and writes, but he as being a black man had to stay on the, on the, on the stands and do his job, which is all, all kind of fucked up. Um, in the first couple games, he had umpires against him. That is wild. And then this is where Alan Tudyk comes in. He, there's this one game. I think he was in, uh, against Pittsburgh where Alan Tudyk is just screaming the most horrendous racist, racist shit I've ever heard in my life. And Alan Tudyk is usually just like a normal goofy guy. And just to hear all this horrendous shit that he was yelling at Chadwick Boseman, it's a little wild. It's really crazy. But being yelled at horrendous racist things is one thing. Getting the ball thrown directly to your head to physically hurt you is a different thing. You can you can block out the words, but a fucking ball coming at you at 90 miles an hour. And he did get... You know, he did get beamed one time, square in the face, got stitches and everything. There were hotels denying stay for the team. Like, no, you can't stay here. Why? Because you got a black. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't accept black ball players in this fucking hotel. What? But this wouldn't be a story if Jackie Robinson wasn't the shit. Because he shut everybody up with his play, and he did it against all odds. There's a really powerful scene in that. But bringing it back to uh, Alan Tudyk, he was just fucking relentless and just talking all this crazy shit to him and it was getting to to jackie and um he heads back to the locker room and just has a tremendous outburst um because he can't he was instructed by mr ricky to not fight back um verbally or anything just ignore it because what the press is going to do they're not going to say oh you know Co the Pittsburgh coach is being an asshole and that's why Jackie Robinson retaliated they're just going to take it as look at what Jackie Robinson did and blame it all on him you know so Mr. Ricky aka Harrison Ford's character was being a coach uh, trying to coach him through that and try to put him through that and it, both performances I love that performance in the uh, in the dugout like Chadwick just goes ham on a bat and he's just like screaming ah and then here comes Mr. Ricky, like, a.k.a. Harrison Ford, and just, like, tries to calm him down and explain to him. That scene is very powerful. And the, the camera doesn't move the whole time, and I find that to be great. That's probably the best scene of the movie. Um, along with all the baseball stuff, um, is it the greatest baseball movie of all time? I don't know. If, if you guys are fans of the of the pod, you guys already know what I'm going to say. Because for me, it's a pinchy sandlot, bruh, Okay. But if we're going to take out fantasy movies and more realistic, um, real life inspired by true events movies, I would put it up there. Uh, we have Moneyball, of course, which that one, if if, if Moneyball is tricky because it's a it's a baseball movie. But you have to kind of give a shit a little bit about baseball to appreciate it. This one, even though you're not a you're not a fan of baseball, you can understand being not allowed to play the game you love with people you are better or maybe even as good at, you know? Discrimination is universal. Rookie of the Year is some bullshit. Major League is some bullshit. The, those movies are bullshit, right? It, it, we're dicking around in that true events, but A League of Their Own is another good one. But, I mean, the harassment you see in A League of Their Own is nothing compared to what Jackie Robinson is. And not that they're claiming to be. But Angels is in the Outfield is another great baseball movie. I think baseball might be the best sport to make movies on. Because, yeah, there's some football movies that are great. Any Given Sunday, of course. Uh, Air Bud, of course. There's just some that are like, all right, this is the shit. But I think it might be the, I don't know, it might be the easiest, it might be the easiest sport to do. I don't know, I mean, it is considered uh, the America's game. There's got to be something to that. But there's just countless of countless of movies. Um, the Natural, The Rookie, Bull Durham. 
bench warmers as mamon that it is, but none of those are true events. If we're just going to separate baseball movies from bullshit and true events, I would put it top. I think I liked it better than Moneyball. I only saw Moneyball once, and I wasn't left with like, ah, I want to watch it, you know? I think I, I could watch this one again, and it's mostly because of the performances. Uh, Harrison Ford and Chadwick Boseman play beautifully off each other. It's pretty great. Feel the Dreams is another okay one. The rest of them are okay. So in case you didn't know, I'm releasing this this, this uh, video a, a couple days before Jack and Robinson Day in, in baseball. If you're a geek, that's why there's a reason why I'm doing this by myself. If you're a mega mega geek and you don't know shit about baseball, April 15th, every player, umpire, coach, everybody who's on the field wears number 42 on their jerseys. It, commemorating the day Jackie Robinson debuted in the Major League, breaking the color barrier. So that has a major league baseball has uh, been honoring Jackie Robinson's. I don't know when it started. It's a fairly recent new It's it's pretty, I, I mean, it's pretty new. This, this Jackie Robinson day thing. Um, I mean, we're coming up on 20 years, so I don't know how new it is, but the first Jackie Robinson day was held April 15th, 2004. And it's, and it, it quickly became one of the major league baseball's most important traditions. Uh, I didn't know that f number 42 is the only retired number in baseball, meaning no one else can play. No one else can use number 42. So that's pretty great. Um, but yeah, 42 is a great baseball movie. Uh, you don't have to be like I was saying, you don't have to be a, a baseball fan to understand and connect with it on a certain level. It, you could just be a, a rando, you know, I should I should have made Felix watched it, um, but I didn't because I didn't think he wanted to. But uh, yeah, 42 mark it off the list. There we go. Another one down here on the Geeks Flicks and Joyce of podcast YouTube channel. Another one for the list. Great. Fantastic. Uh, if you did watch 42 because I let you know what movies are coming on the Geeks Flesh and Joys podcast that drop every Sunday. If you're up and up and uh, if you're up in arms, if you if you if you're up to date with the podcast, you know you know what's coming. That's a sneak peeks. Uh, if you did watch it, let me know what you think. If you did watch it a long time ago and you want to comment about it, anything and all thoughts about movie forty two down in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. You can follow me personally at Edward Prizes, P-A-U-R-A-Z-A-S, as well as my ghostly friend at Jafel91. Follow the channel, like, comment, and subscribe, all that good jazz right here on the YouTubes. I have a solo YouTube channel as well, where it's a different format, strictly uh, gaming reviews. You don't see my stupid face, you can hear my stupid voice. Head on over there. Uh, I don't know what's coming out, but I, I release a, a video every once, every other week and I, I have fun doing those as well so please go support that I greatly appreciate it um anything you want to say to the beautiful people anybody else no okay oh let me get the always in favor you do you like <laughs>